Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of the Data Frame API Queries examples. In my previous video, I have already have discussed about the Data Frame API Queries and some basic examples. So just the continuation video. If you haven't watched the previous video, I'll be putting up the link in description box and I just want you to watch that one so that you'll be have a basic understanding of the queries. So today we're gonna just start where we have left off in the previous video. So uh, to begin with the same set of lines of code where we are initializing the Spark session. Afterwards, we are just loading the reading the two files, right? Uh, using a like read Spark dot read dot format uh, option, and the two files which I am loading, it's available in my documents location. Let me show you first. Uh, these two are the CSV files with the name customers and orders. In a customers, we have got two columns, and orders we have a uh, three columns available, in which one of the column is common, which is customer ID. So first of all, we are reading these two files in my uh, workspace. Afterwards, we are just trying to print the result and then we are printing what? The structure of the data. Let me first run these set of commands then, then we will be moving further. Actually, to just to save the time, I have written all the commands here like uh, in prior so that we can able to save the time in writing the queries. Okay. So first of all, let us let me now show you the output of these set of commands, the show and print schema. The print schema uh, display the uh, structure or schema, right? This is the first file content, okay? And in the same way, this is the second file content, and these are the two schemas got printed using a print schema. Afterwards, the very first operation for today is sometime what happen is we need to change a data type of a particular column, right? In that case, what we can do is we can use we have to use this uh, kind of a syntax. So let me show you the syntax what I have written here. The syntax says. Here we are uh, creating a new data frame, uh, new variable df2 equal to df dot select means df means this is a df where we have loaded our data dot select which select which column we are selecting we are selecting a customer ID column. You can see in the print schema currently the print schema of the first uh, data frame is showing string customer ID is showing a string although it's a, it's a numeric data right. So what we want is we want to change it to the integer. So how we can do it select df means the existing data frame name dot col means column which column customer id dot cast cast means type casting we want to cast to the integer okay and then we are again we are rechecking the things with the print schema let me now again run run it for you okay uh, let me save it and let me run it for you so that you can see that data has been changed to a new type earlier it was showing as string now it sh should show as a integer this is how we can uh, convert the da uh, data of one type to another type. It's very much important. Sometimes we have to do it explicitly, uh, just to uh, as per the uh, problem statement given, right? So we must know how to change a type of a uh, of a column, right? Currently, you can see it was earlier a string, right? Now it is showing as an integer, right? This is how we can do the type casting in Apache Spark data frame, right? Next point is next set of operations are are nothing but the uh, joins okay we are all are aware what are joins join meaning is whenever the data is not available in one data frame so we need to join so that we can able to find data in a, another data frame right so in this case we are now applying the four different joins here the inner join the left outer the right outer and full outer so i have already written the commands for you the syntax is exactly same for all the type of joins you just have to change the keyword okay so what the syntax says syntax says is df df means first data frame dot join join is a keyword then second data frame then parenthesis start then second data frame name comma sequence seq then we have to spe specify the common column so i've already told you we have a common column available which is called customer id then first of all we want to apply the inner join inner join we all are aware from the sql background that inner join will display the common data okay so currently we can if you can uh, see the data uh, we are having customer id this is a customer id we have a 10 3 6 5 8 here the customer id is 1 2 3 4 5 it means there are two customer ids which are common 3 and 5 right so it means we'll be expecting two rows in the case of inner join uh, result right second type of join is left outer left outer meaning is it's nothing but equivalent of inner join result plus the unmatched data from the left table in the same way right outer meaning is the common result means it's a result of inner join plus the, the unmatched data from the right table. It means it is a right outer. Full outer meaning is it is the equivalent of inner join plus left join plus right join. Okay. So let us see the results here one by one. So I am running it uh, queries for you. All right. Let us see the results. So here uh, we will be getting all the results of my uh, inner join 
left outer right outer full outer wherever there is no matching thing available it will be displaying null values okay first of all in inner join we'll be expecting only two rows in a left outer it will be displaying the inner join result means two rows plus the data from left table and then right outer means two rows plus data from right table full outer meaning is two rows plus left result plus right result this is called full outer let's see the results one by one now so this is the uh, result of inner join as we expected because there are two uh, customer ids which are common three and five we got two rows it's okay then we are having left outer result in which in which it's it's showing the data from left table okay first of all it's showing the complete rows from the inner join three and five you can see and why you're getting null here because null indicates that this because i've told you it's a, a left outer meaning is it's the inner join result plus the unmatched data from the left table okay so plus null is showing from the right table here because there's no corresponding uh, data available in the same way this is the right outer join result okay in which we got some nulls again as expected and then we are having the full outer join okay full outer join meaning is it's a left plus right plus inner join this is called full outer join so it means we have now seen the four different type of joins okay and their uh, results okay the the syntax is exactly same we just have to change the keyword from inner to left underscore outer right underscore outer and full underscore outer moving further afterwards what we are doing is we are just trying to upload another file which i have used in my previous video also 10 uh, question 10k on which i'll be displaying i'll be applying two uh, another operations very simple basic operations one is uh, distinct distinct meaning is if you want to get rid of duplicacy because in my one of the column called tag in this data set is having duplicate entries i just want to display the unique entries in that for which we can use distinct and another last operation that for this today's video is how we can apply the order by order by meaning is i want to sort the data okay with respect to a particular column so let's now run everything here this is the uh, correspond to the distinct query the, the syntax says the data frame dot select column name dot distinct dot show 10 indicates i would just want to display 10 lines 10 top rows okay in the same way df dot select tag dot distinct dot order by b capital i want to uh, uh, sort the data with respect to uh, tag column okay in this in this data 10 uh, question 10k i just I'm, I'm only having two columns available so i'm just selecting a vertical column the tag column and applying the distinct operator and afterwards after applying distinct i'm also applying the order by just to show you how order by works in which uh, the b is capital and the 10 indicates that there are only 10 rows will be printed because in this data set there are uh, almost 100 rows are available now let's run it uh, all together so that i'll be getting all my results in one shot so this is this is the last operation for today the order by okay so i hope the things are clear let me now show you the output of all the queries one by one so it is now currently executing so first of all i got the result of my first table right second table then print schema done then this type casting done afterwards I, i'll be getting the results of my inner join then the uh, left join then the right join then the full outer join right and afterwards i'll be getting the result of this the, the one is the distinct operator okay so i'm just getting the unique entries not a duplicacy from that tag column of the question 10k data set and afterwards uh, i have applied the order by you can see it's now completely alphabetically sorted and you can see it's starting from dot then a then b then c and so on this is called order by right i hope the uh, things are clear from today's video so rest of the content i'll be coming up with the next video thanks for watching guys see you next video